How much is your uh, pizza game? Good morning, how you doing? Good, how are you guys? We're doing well. Okay. okay. Can we start a pile? Uh, yes, that green table there. Yep. Perfect. deer look over there you see them come here well those are a lot there's two more there's a one there i came back and it was still there like two hours later just laying on the front porch it's a big deer yeah i mean we really feel that you, you pro they probably would at some point would eat out of your hand they are they just yeah. travel what would you need for all this okay. stuff? Okay, so this is mine, so that's five. Everything else for her. She was taking, thinking ten for this. It's got three hats in there, brand new. Okay. Ten. She was thinking eight for this. It's never even been out of the box. Okay. Um, so that would be 18. Five for this. Um, 22, 23. And how about just five for the rest of it together? So let's do 28. And then you would be at 33. 33. You're just making it even 30? Would that work? Um, yeah, that would be fine. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for bagging it up. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Thank you. Yep. Good luck with your sale. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Morning. We got eight hats. Eight hats? Yeah. Do you have a bag I could put them in? Yeah. Oh, mommy. Mommy. Uh, one moment. Two dollars? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get you some money here. Is your tricycle for sale? That's not. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. How much is your uh, pizza game? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. Would you take five for your CD storage box? Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll pass on this. I'll put it back. There you go. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. I'm back from the garage sales. We only went to like, I don't know, six or seven sales. There just aren't that many sales going on this time of year. It's 
mid-October, so the sales are definitely winding down. The season's coming to an end, but for the, the amount of sales that we went to, I'm pretty happy with what I found. The first sale of the day is where I got most of my stuff. I spent $30, and my wife got a wreath, and then I got this old rotary phone that I'm going to take the antique booth. Should get about 20 bucks for that. I got this vintage hat. It has the original box. I'm not sure if that's the same box that came with it or if they were just protecting it. And I just noticed there's actually two hats in here. So that's pretty cool. There's some kind of pin. I don't know what that pin's for. Let's see. That's made by Hugger. Definitely vintage. And then here is the Knox hat. Oh, there's three. Holy cow. Yeah, there's three hats in here. Okay, here's the Knox hat that matches the box. Denver Dry Goods Company Men's Shop. Yeah, this is definitely an oldie. That's a pretty cool look to it, too. And then this one, Genuine Suede. There's a tag from some kind of department store called Martings. Originally paid $24 for it. So, yeah, that's a pretty nice hat. Three and one, that's a good deal. I had, I was just thinking there was one hat in there, so I'm pretty happy about that. I also got this uh, Belgian waffle maker. New in the box, probably not super valuable, maybe 15 bucks or something. And this uh, realistic portable cassette tape recorder. Um, also with the original box, don't know if it's new or not, but that should do all right. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, two more things at that sale that I got. I got this um, Ohio State sweatshirt. <laughs> I had to do a double take when I saw this because I found the exact same one last weekend. It's weird. I've never seen one of these before. And then back to back weekends, I find them. So that was part of that deal. And then also this Ohio State Buckeyes vintage hat was part of that deal. Wait, almost forgot, sorry. Two more things. Um, a couple packs of TDK tapes. These are um, SA90. And then these are VHSC TC30. I think each of these will go for about $10. All right, that's definitely everything from that sale. Um, moving on, I got this right here. It is a 100 CD like spinning um containment like storage system thing they had ten dollars on it offered them five and they took it i saw a used one sell for about 25 this one's new in the box so i should get 35 or 40. they also had an old like ouija or ouija board there but the box was kind of beat up a little bit and they were 115 bucks in my experience i've gotten around like between 20 and 30 on them based on condition if it was like a couple dollars i would have bought it um, but if you ever see the really old ones like early 1900s I sold a really old Ouija board that was like 100 years old. I think I got around $100 for it. So keep an eye out for those. The ones from the 70s do pretty well. You can usually get, you know, close to 30 bucks if they're in good shape. And then the last one I found are some hats. I got this hat. I can't remember if it was, if this hat was at that sale or if it was a different sale. But here's an old Toro hat. And then I got eight more hats at a garage sale. They were only a quarter each. So... Really hard to argue with the price. Here's a Pebble Beach hat. There's three Green Bay Packers. Here's the Pinehurst US Open, DuPont Racing, uh, an old Penn State hat, and Pittsburgh Pirates. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.